Chapter 6 Section 1 of my book Land Your Dream Job in Weeks My name is Rajiv Bidse The name of the chapter is Complacency is Dangerous So let me read through Sanskrit is one of the oldest languages on earth It is believed that many other languages are born out of Sanskrit I am quite an amateur at Sanskrit but these two words and their meaning caught my attention during a spiritual task delivered by a swami ji they are prayas and shreyas prayas refers to doing the convenient things things that are easy to implement short lived ideas and concepts that do not require you to stretch your potential it also means finding an easy way to a quick fix Prayer's method can be summarized as being penny wise pound foolish. Shreyas on the other hand means beneficial in the long run. It may be hard to execute the shreyas ideas and concepts but they certainly pay high dividends. Strategic networking with recruiters and industry professionals promoting your product which is you during a coffee catch up with professionals without sounding salesy picking up your cell phone and taking uh, sorry talking to strangers without any hesitation and finding ways to add value to offer uh, or to value to others fall under the shreyas category they are hard to implement but worth the effort blood sweat and tears are necessary to reach dreams hopes and joys observed robin sharma indeed success is achieved only after making the impossible possible there is no shortcut to accomplishing your goals the question is why do professionals become complacent i believe complacency results from limiting beliefs you have inscribed on your subconscious mind by assuming that they are true I have discussed with examples limiting beliefs in a separate section in my book. Complacency on its face value may look comfortable. However, the reality is that it is the deadliest disease globally. It's even more dangerous than cancer. It first attacks and cripples your creativity, potential and ability. Then it gradually takes control of your mind and then on your body many physical and mental diseases result from constrained thinking and limiting beliefs being laid back not striving for success reluctance to contribute to others and being a social can also be responsible for complacency when someone is someone is not living their life in line with their true potential it's called a comfort zone I call it the zone of complacency. It might offer little temporary comfort, but it is pretty damaging to your personal development. Struggles in life make you stronger. Survival makes you indispensable, and striving makes you attain excellence. Through my hundreds of one-on-one empowering consultations and thousands of mentoring sessions, I have realized that the professionals who are open to receiving new ideas and ready to implement success strategies succeed very quickly in getting their dream job than the ones who expect the mentor to break through their inner world and create miracles in their lives you can take a horse to the water but you can't make him drink it heard that before but what would you do to the adamant horse who has a closed mind and is unwilling to even walk up to water nothing the horse must go to the water complacency is the result of taking your eyes off your purpose something which you will never compromise on being complacent in life is a conscious decision that many professionals have made they expect to become a butterfly but simultaneously want to be in the cocoon you cannot eat a cake and have it too the price needs to be paid now here the conversation 
between a fresh engineering graduate and me during the initial breakthrough consultation. Where do you currently work? I asked the prospective client curiously. I work for myself. I own a food truck, he replied politely. Oh, great. Do you mind me asking what's your average monthly income? I earn $6,000 per month through my evening business, he answered proudly. That's very nice. It means you will have all the time in the world to look for the job in the engineering field during normal work hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., right? I questioned for clarity. Yes, absolutely. I want to work in my field, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to earn more income through my job than in my current business, he answered. Once you get your dream job and get some experience in your field, you will excel in your job and earn more money. I addressed. But my inclination is more toward doing business, he expressed his concern. No worries. Once you gain enough experience in your field, you can start your own business. I gave him hope. It sounds good, but it will take much longer to start my engineering business. Let me think about this and get back to you he expressed to me. Do you see which direction and conversation is headed in? Complacency, that's right. This proactive, sorry, this prospective client never worked with me. I can only hope he has come out of his cozy zone and found his dream job. The longest journey is not around the world. It is from comfort zone to success zone. So here are some of the recommended success strategies for you. Number one, prioritize, prioritize, prioritize. Number two, remind yourself of your purpose all the time. Number three, don't look for convenience. Strive for excellence. Number four, eliminate your limiting beliefs quickly. Complacency is dangerous and sinister. It may not make the sky collapse on you, but it will surely not make you reach the sky. So, my message is very clear. Kick your butt, take the first step. I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye for now.